In order to share a content with other users in Mahara, you have to add that content to a page. So this content can be the content that you have already made in the content part, such as files, journals, resume, um, your plans, um, or the contents that, that you haven't already added to the content part, but, but you want to share them uh, with, with other users in Mahara. In order to do that, you have to click on Portfolio, uh, click on Pages and Collections. So in this, uh, in this part, uh, Pages and Collections, by default, you have two pages, Profile Page and Dashboard Page. Now uh, we want to add a new page. You click on Add. We have two options here, Collection page, we want to create a new page, we click on page, then um, we have to enter a page title, for example, I want to uh, share my research, number one, uh, with other users in Mahara. I can add a description. This is my first research. I can add a tag. Research. And I can choose um, the the format of the of my my name, which will be displayed for this work. Uh, my first name, last name, my full name, uh, my display name, uh, or on, I just can choose my ID number. Then. I have to choose the layout. Uh, by default, it's, uh, it has three columns. I choose the two column layout. And then I choose the skin that I have already created. Save. OK. So uh, the new page is created. And now here, I can add the contents to this page. Uh, on the left uh, side of the page, you see uh, a bar. Uh, you can choose um, a text to add to this page, for example. So just click on text. You have to choose the position of the text uh, so if, if you remember, I, I chose uh, the layout of uh, two columns. So I have to choose now um, to, to which, which column I want to add the text. For example, I choose the left column, add. And then I can, uh, for example, I have already prepared the text. I can copy and paste the text here, for example. Save. I can also add an image. I choose the position. For example, I say the left column after text or top of cell. I say top of cell. And then here, I can choose from the files that I have already uploaded on the files part. For example, English grammar course, I open it, and I want to add the present perfect tense image. I select it, save. So as you see now on the uh, left column, first I have the image and then the text. 
You can add other contents to the page too. For example, you click on media and then you have um, different, different kinds of medias here. Um, for example, you can click on files to download. I choose now the right column. So now I can choose choose a file here. So uh, the 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 users um, um, of Mahara who have access to this page, they can click on this link and download this file. Um, the same, we can add a folder, image gallery, embedded media. We can add a PDF file. Uh, it's exactly the same. You can add a journal. So uh, if you have already created a journal, you can add a journal to, to the page. Uh, for example, I click on a journal entry. I want to add it to the right column. And this is the only journal entry that I have. I choose it, save. So first I have my journal entry on the right column and then the files to download. Um, if you want, you can change the, the position, you can change the place of the contents whenever you want. Also, you can add some general information. You can add your personal information to a page, your social media, profile information, your resume, and some external information. So let's um, just go to display page. This is how um, other users who have access to, to my page see my page. Okay, now I go back to pages and collections. So this is the page that I created, Research 1. If I click the page, I see the content. Uh, and if I want to edit the page, I click on edit, I add, remove the contents, or change the place of the contents. But now I want to show you how to share this page with other users. As you see, there is a lock on the left bottom of the, the page. If you click on the lock, we can manage the access of uh, Mahara users to your page. So, advanced option, you can allow users to leave a comment um, on the content for the, for the content of the page, and then you can allow the users to copy um, the content of your page. And then you can um, put a start date and time and end date and time uh, for the access of the users to this page. So we can say, for example, from March 21st, 2018, from 8, for example, a.m. until Twenty first of April two thousand eighteen, eight a.m. And I want to share it with my friends. Again, I can choose um, uh, the the date from which date to which date. Um, I can share it with. Um, with the groups 
that uh, I am member of those groups uh, with registered users, with public, um, any any group that I want, and save. Okay, so I go back to pages and collections. So now you see that this lock is now open. So it means that um, some people can see my page. They have access to, to this page. And if we want to delete the file, we can click on this, this arrow and press delete. Or we can click on edit to edit the page.